So I've been tackling ongoing water leak issues with this 2009 Malibu. And one of the things that I've had to do in order to get this thing sealed up tight is replace this, uh, this sunroof drain, uh, the drain and the grommet as well. Um, what I suspect happened is the temperature fluctuations that these lines go through, I think over time it caused it to shrink to where it was no longer draining the water all the way out of the car. And uh, that kind of uh, prompted the question, how much water actually flows through the sunroof drain? So I'm just running a test here. Um, just got a hose placed to where it's continuously pouring water. And you can see only this small corner of the sunroof is getting water from the hose at this point. Um, if it was raining, obviously the whole area of the sunroof would be getting pounded with rain. Right now I'm just putting a little bit of water on that corner. And we can see here a pretty steady drip. So I can imagine it would be much worse uh, in an actual uh, rainstorm. But yeah, I'm going to take this car through a uh, car wash with this setup here and uh, I'm going to show you how much more water comes out when there's actually pressure behind the water coming in. So I've emptied out my uh, drain bottle here and just now entering the wash. Saw a few drips there. But uh, we'll see what happens when it gets to uh, the rinse part. So here we go. All right. coming through. Wash is over and a uh, pretty decent amount of water here. So, all this would be on the floor. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and install the new drain and the new grommet. I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that as well. So this amount of water, if you multiply that by four, because this car has four sunroof drains, that should give you an idea of how much water is actually flowing through. Now I've got my uh, got my new sunroof drain. I'm gonna go ahead and fully remove the old one here. You want to do this carefully because you don't want to damage uh, this part of it, which is uh, the tray that collects the water. I may have to cut this to get it to come off. So uh, it's barbed at the end. So that's why it's such a hard time to pull this off. But I've got my new drain here and I've got a new grommet as well. This grommet goes in here 
and uh, that's where it hooks up with the drain. So the best way to go about doing this is to go ahead and put this drain in through its little hole there. And you're gonna want to push it all the way down until it actually comes out. So I've got my drain actually coming out here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and position this up kind of where it needs to be, just so I can get the angle right. I'm not gonna do the complete install of this, but I'm just positioning this so that it's angled correctly. So this grommet goes up in here like that. So I can go ahead and get that installed. So I went ahead and pushed this piece into the grommet and now it will just kind of pull in, push the grommet in, let it sit. then I can install this piece. So yeah, that's about it. That's all there is to it. Your final step, of course, is gonna be to secure these little, little pins there. There's one right there and one right here as well. But yeah. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Please let me know if you have any questions, or more importantly, if you have any advice about the common leaks on a Chevy Malibu. Thanks for watching.